The benefits of buying an unfilled heavy bag are simple. An unfilled bag is cheaper, you pay less in shipping, and you can personalize the bag to your own personal preference. If you want it harder, you simply fill it more. If you want it lighter for more movement, you use less stuffing. If you want it heavier, add more sandbags to the center. There are tons of options when you choose an unfilled heavy bag. The best part is that you get to customize it to you and your specific boxing style. You know, there are also levels to stuffing an unfilled heavy bag, but to just to keep it real and basic, here's the most simplistic way. First, gather as many old clothes as you can. Clean out your closet, ask your friends, or get your fighters to donate. Here's a tip though, you will need more than you think. Next, it helps if you create a base and top piece out of cardboard or foam. I've put about six to eight pieces together here and secured them with duct tape, and it's about one inch thick. This is easy and cheap, but can make a big difference because it helps maintain the bag shape and form from the top and the bottom. After adding your bottom base, start by stuffing about six inches of clothes for your first layer. Pack them down with a broom handle, a walking stick, or a pole. Focus on the edges and work the fabric into the gaps or pockets that form to fill the space. After the first six inches, add a sandbag to the center. We've used a storage sized Ziploc bag, filled three quarters of the way full and secured it with packing tape so it doesn't leak. Every gallon sized Ziploc bag filled over halfway with sand will weigh about five to six pounds. Try to keep it cylindrically shaped so it fits in the center of the bag and then pack the cloth filling firmly around it so it won't shift to the edge and make any hard spots on the bag. From there, just keep filling and packing the bag every 10 to 12 inches. Add in as many sandbags as you want as you go until you achieve the desired weight. After all of that, top your bag off with the second pre-cut cardboard piece and close it up. Even though over time the bag will settle and look more smooth, you can turn the bag on its side after it's complete and pound down some of the lumpy spots to give the bag a more uniform look. Buying an unfilled bag is easy and there are many benefits to filling it yourself. Adding foam liners, more or less weight, and customizing the heavy bag to achieve your personal preference is the best of all worlds. In the end, buying an unfilled bag saves on shipping, you can make it as heavy or as light as you want, and you can build a bag that suits you perfectly.